Okay boy, in this video we are going to discuss how do you record your own sound inside of Audacity. Okay, so there are two techniques of recording sound. One of the techniques is you select the file, uh, you click on new and Audacity opens a new file for you. you click on this button called as a record button and, and Audacity is certainly recording me as I speak. So if I click on the stop button, it stops the recording and when I play and, and Audacity is certainly recording me as I speak. So if I click on the stop button, you can see that Audacity has recorded. But this is not a technique I'm fond of. Uh, this is a technique, of course, and this is a widely used technique. But there is one more interesting technique, and so I'm going to close this window, and I'm sa I'm not going to save this. Okay, the interesting thing is that you can record your audio in inside of a playing audio. Well, is that confusing? The next five minutes should solve your confusion. So, so the whole aim is that I can record my audio as I hear this music. Um, so where is this applicable? Suppose you are a guitarist and you went wrong in the, uh, in the uh, last part of your track. Not a problem. You could play the entire time and just hit on the purge on this button right here so that you record the track. If you're not understanding, just don't worry. You'll get it in the next five minutes. But by the way, just remember that this technique is called as purging. So you can record on the go as you are listening. So now I'm going to click on this record track and I'm going to record something. Why is the volume too low? Increase in the volume. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. 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 Oh. End of the music. Click on the stop button right here. Okay, it should have recorded that thing as well. But <laughs> you see, I was making some funny sounds so just so, to, to, so that you understand what I am. You can really record on the go. So now if you hear the music. Okay, okay actually before we uh, kind of, um, you know, uh, you can, I'll click on the solo track right here. I'm out of words at the moment, <laughs> really. Okay, so I'm going to play. And you can hear a lot of noise is recorded. Which I obviously why don't want. Why is the volume want. too low? Oh yeah, why is the volume too low? Okay, <laughs> but you see there's a lot of noise recorded which I don't want. So how do you remove noise? And uh, and of course, Audacity has one feature, uh, one effect with which you can remove your noise. So you could, you could select a portion right like this, which doesn't contain your audio. So you can select a sample of your noise. So when you have to remove your noise, you select a sample, then go to effect and select noise removal. Now after you selected noise removal, it says the step one is select a few seconds of just noise. So Audacity knows what to filter out, then click the get noise profile. And by the way, the, this feature, this effect is by Dominic Mazzoni. So thank you to Dominic. Okay, so now what I have done is essentially selected a few seconds of just noise. And I'm going to click on get noise, noise profile. Okay, the dialog box disappears for some strange reason. But you could go again and select noise removal and this time if you want to play around with the settings you are encouraged to do so but I'm not going to do anything just click on OK. And certainly Audacity has removed a great amount of noise but, but still it needs to remove more noise like this thing and this thing. So I'm going to select that once again go to effect go to noise removal choose OK. And that's pretty much done except this last part right here. Go to effects, go to noise removal, get noise profile, go to effects once again, go to noise removal, click on OK. And I think you get the point, you could go on forever, but the noise has become quite less. And you could go Why to is the volume too low? You could go to individual parts and edit audio, but I think you get the point. The noise is significantly removed. Now let us let us listen to the entire track at once. And here's the fun, I mean you could take any audio whatsoever, you could take any track in this world, 
um, any music track of uh, any favorite of yours any karaoke track and record your own audio so you could have your own built-in home studio right inside of audacity so hope you enjoyed this video and i'm gonna let you enjoy the music with my sound and the sound will come why is the volume too low yeah why is the volume too low i'm just to reduce the volume here because i think that a bit on the higher side increase in the volume yeah yeah <laughs> yeah End of the music. Click on the stop button right here. Now obviously my voice is sounding rubbish with the audio and I'm just disturbing the beauty of the audio. But I think I have probably managed to explain the point that you could ex record your sound when the music is playing. And, and if you could record your sound, you could also record your instrument. And that's the point which I was trying to illustrate with the guitar player thing. So hopefully... You learned this very interesting feature inside of Audacity. See you the next time.